Yeah, good to have you though, bro. What's going on? Thanks for having me, bro. I'm just chilling, bro, trying to get back up, man. You know, <coughs> trying to stay consistent and shit. You know, keep dropping shit, put more shit on my channel, put more shit on like other people's channels and shit. Trying to get my name on like different platforms and shit. Right. Basically, just trying to work more harder than I was. Right, right. Well, shit, bro. Yo, you already buzzing, bro. You've been buzzing for like a few years now, man. And just to let you know, bro, you the first artist, man. This your second street certified interview, bro. Everybody else got like one. Everybody got one, bro. You the first person, bro. That because I fuck with you, bro. <laughs> I stay here. You know, we always yeah. talking all this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, bro. Nah, like I, I rock with the whole movement, everything, man. Um, shit, man. Let's you know what I'm saying. So let's get into it, man. Like we done already. We know who Debo is, man. Like. What 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 happened with the hiatus, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? You seemed like you had kind of stepped away, you know what I'm saying? You had a case. What, what was going on with it? No, nah, man, it was it was no, nah, man. It was some shit going on, man, with uh I can't really speak on it right now, man. That shit is 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 it's, it's, it's like it's, it's it's some real shit. But it's it's cool though. It's it's nothing though. You feel me? I'm I'm back. I'm just back trying to be consistent on the real. I ain't focused on no you know what I be what I be on out here in the streets, man, cuz that shit be like stopping at a point of time, it's like 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 college kid. It's a few motherfuckers that stopped posting my shit for a minute. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers was thinking it was a room I was robbing cameraman. It was all type of shit. Like motherfuckers, I it was with, uh, one situation with a cameraman and shit. Oh, I, I really don't know what the fuck went on. I guess some he he just lying going around inboxing all the all everybody who who shoot my videos. Man, don't shoot for Debo. Debo go rob you, out the bam. He got down on me, out the bam. So I was hitting certain motherfuckers I was working with up. Like, man, I shoot a video, out the bam. And motherfucker was like, kind of, that was like, come on. For everybody, at first, everybody like, come on, Debo. I, motherfucker was hitting me up for videos. I wasn't even coming at them. Motherfucker was like, man, boy, let's shoot a video. At the while, motherfucker was like, man, one answer. I'm like, motherfucker, leave me on scene. I'm like, damn. You feel me? Yeah. So you was one of the first artists, bro, like speaking of, you know what I'm saying, like the other the other platforms and stuff like that. Um, you was one of the first artists, like it seemed like they don't post a lot of like real Chicago rappers. But like all of them all of them was rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how did that happen? Like just speaking like from an artist side, like it's a lot of artists that be trying to get posted and trying to get their name. Yeah, bro, on my life. Shit, you know, we should you know, we Chicago. You know, Chicago like Shit, product where I rhyme, you know, rob and sticking up. Everybody done got stuck up or sink the motherfucker where they know a stick up man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I drop stain, that shit was like we weren't even expecting that shit, man. We was we was just we shot out, we shot that was like my second video. We just put that shit together, me and bro. No, we as we was going, as we was going along. Shout out Fly Ty, cause he helped too, but we was really going that going going along. We really was doing that shit though. My fuck got robbed at the video shoot. Then they deal. Let me see. My fuck got robbed at the shoot. During the shoot, like during the video, like he wasn't. I ain't gonna even do that, man. Right, right, right. Nah, let me so, edit that out because I ain't gonna do that. Cause <laughs> folks probably watch the video. All right, so they do. They do call you though the rapper wild, but like, how you like? What's the situation with that? Like, how you do you do you accept that? Is that something that you don't want? Yeah, I, I caught my first robbery. I was like fifteen. But I ain't ever got caught since. What? <laughs> I caught my first robbery when I was 15. I'll be told, man. Yeah, I, caught, I caught my first robbery when I was 15. I just been doing that shit for a long time, man. I started off like, I started off with uh, Halsey Street. Everybody was going up there with the hook. That's when we had real hookers up there. And people was going to turn tricks behind heralds and shit. And I used to go up there with BB guns and shit. Especially like, especially like Halloween time or like some shit like that. I used to be Going up there robbing people behind heralds and shit, robbing strippers. I mean, robbing hookers and married men that one supposed to been doing what the fuck they was doing and shit like that. So I was, I just fell in love, with, fell in love with robbing, man. You know, no, it was free. No, we had guns. I could just run back to my hood and I got a hundred more niggas with guns and ain't nobody finna do nothing to me. I was young, so. So shit, now that all that took care of, man, it seemed like. You got a lot of like a big push that's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a I got a big push. I got a big push. It come from really it come from my circle. Come from my guys. You know, you know, of course I ain't gonna get on here and say what everybody else say that. Yeah, of course the struggle motivated motherfucker, but like the people around me, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was losing at first. Like, like not saying the people around me, it was just 
the shit that was happening, like losing the guys like Mad Max, you feel me? Losing folks was like, that shit was like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, when we lost VA, shit was fucked up. But, you know, we still had each other and shit. But when I lost Max. We lost Max, bro. It was like, man, bro. Lost Pimp after that. It was like, man, we, I was I was losing motherfuckers that I thought we was, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, if I ain't had nobody at my show, nigga, that nigga Max was right there with me. You know what I'm saying? If y'all go look at my old videos, you gonna look at you going to see me, Max, Geo. You going to see the originals in that bitch. You feel me? So it's like. Back then, when I was doing shows or anything, if I ain't had nobody right there with me, I have it was Max. So like, you know what I'm saying? Max was there. Like, nigga, we did a show. We did one show on 68th and hosted. Then nobody wanted to go to that motherfucker. They like, bro, you tripping, bro. Don't don't do that shit. You feel me? I'm always doing some shit. That's how I got my that's how I got shot, you feel me? I always been outgoing, you feel me? So ain't nobody really wanna go to that show. You know what I'm saying? They like, man, who out the band that that stand ain't not a block, man, bro, you tripping. Hey, Mad Max, it was me, Max, and Face, but Mad Max, Mad Max was there, you feel me? That motherfucker ain't give a fuck. On stage with the pipe, that motherfucker falling down his pants, he ain't got no belt. He up there doing his little dance, you feel me? Folks don't give a fuck, you feel me? We, and we, and folks are walk. Folks don't give no fuck, you feel me? R.P. Max, folks, on my life, nigga. So, I'm, nigga, I got my next, my next tape I'm doing after Mr. Jones, niggas, Max Mode. Max Mode. So, Mr. Jones, when that's from? What the, what this money? I ain't finna be lying like the other rappers either. Man, it's coming this, ooh, nah. What this money is? What is it, December? December. Probably about February, though. February, though, because I want to, I like, I, I, I want to get hot, hot. You feel me? I want to be able to drop my videos. Them bitches doing 20,000 in one day. You feel me? Shit like that. You feel me? I want to get. You got videos that got 100,000, 200,000? I know, bro. I'm talking about, I want to get to the, I want to get to the point where I'm, Real, real hot like how I was, but real like triple that. Like, bro, I really want to go far because I got a lot of hot ass music I've been working on. I got a lot of hot ass music I've been holding on. I got a lot of hot ass music that's out. I got two mixtapes. Now I'm finna try to drop. I'm finna try to drop at least three tapes this year. I'm doing. I'm. I'm pin. I'm pin more into this year. I'm pin more into myself. I'm pin more into my music. I'm writing more. I'm more motivated. I got people calling me every day, man, Bo, did you write? Did you write? You know what I'm saying? Is you on, is you on point? My nigga Boo, man, you know what I'm saying? My little brother Ray Ray, you know what I'm saying? My little brother, a lot of my, my guys, a lot of motherfuckers, man, they always hit me up. Bo, is you writing? Is you doing your shit, bro? We in the next video. What you got next? You feel me? And that shit be, that shit be letting me know, like, man, I got people depending on me, man. So when you was going through, like, your little, like, your little time off hiatus, whatever you want to call it, when you was kind of fell back, what was like your motivation, bro, to like keep going to here? Cause I see like right now, bro, when we dropped the the last video, you got a lot of like the niggas don't like making music. Oh, okay. Niggas don't like making music. I ain't gonna speak on nobody or nothing like that, but niggas don't like making music. Niggas, uh, I guess when I got, I guess when I got shot, a lot of a lot of a lot of shit slowed down. I was getting like, I was unmotivated. I can say, I was getting unmotivated. So. I start seeing people I don't like start surface with songs. I'm like, man, I can't, no, I can't, I can't go like that, man. I got that, I got that fight in me. That's how I am, you know what I'm saying? I get that shit from my OG. Like, I can't let nobody, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, man, bro, you need to stop saying this, man. You need to, man, stop paying attention. Stop, stop going back and forth. It's just in me, bro. Like, like, I'll do the same for Monday. I'll do the same for you. I'll do the same for, I'll do the same for anybody I'm around, bro. I'm gonna protect, I'm gonna protect your name and protect me. At any cost on any platform, bro. So that was so that was your motivation. So like now that you now that you here, bro, uh, the new video. What's that video that's gonna drop? Uh, I I remixed that sh uh, Bali bitch Lil Zay or some shit. Okay, so when that one dropped, like I saw the clip. That was the clip with you with yeah. the ski mask and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, 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 man. So like, I were, like what, like you know, like with the industry, bro, how it's going. Like a lot of artists. Is really feeling like they gotta like we was talking about it. They gotta have gimmicks, so they gotta like do certain things to like get attention or like make it to that next level. Like, how do you feel about basically you want to get to that next level, but we already talked about it. You ain't with all the gimmicks and stuff. Right. So like, how you feel that you gonna be able to get there, and how you feel like you gonna be able to compete against uh, the artist that's doing the the, the fool shit? Well, I, uh, feel shit. Just be myself. Shit, keep it authentic. You know, street. You know, try to be like everybody else. You feel me? Of course, everybody got like 
everybody from the same city and everybody else to the same people. It's we only got one world. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like it's three, four different worlds. We we only got one world. So everybody don't everybody listen to each other. Especially in Chicago, everybody done grew up around each other. They listen to everybody done grew up off Gucci Man, Wayne. You feel me, motherfuckers like that. So everybody got that certain type of hop or B drop since people come in. Similar, everybody got different yeah. similarities. You feel me? Like different rappers that's out now that's doing the melodizing. People will say, ooh, uh, 147 Cowboy, uh, Lil Zay, or Dirk, whatever, all them niggas sound the same. They trying to sound like Walter Bam. And now, in actuality, everybody just, no shit, come from the same, yeah, listening to the same yeah. tunes and shit. You feel me? But I try to separate myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to lie and say like I'm a drug dealer or nothing like that. I'm a robber. You feel me? That's what I am, bro. What was the what was like your best lick, bro? My best lick? Yeah. Ooh. Like, like where you where you was like, you look, you opened the bag and was like, ooh, we came up today. On oh, my life. You wanna be you wanna be real? I swear to fucking God, nigga. We here. My biggest lick. Oh. Damn, that shit crazy, man. My biggest lick. I broke in my coach's crib. I broke in my coach's crib, man. I was playing basketball. I was basketball. I was into basketball. Yeah, so my coach, I respect that man, man. I love him, man. Shout out Kurt, man. Don't nobody show him this shit either. Don't nobody show him this shit either. Yeah, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? Kurt took care of me, man. I, feel, I always felt wrong for that. That's the only. That's the only lick. That was the only probably lick that I felt like that I was like I was bogus, man. Like I never robbed old lady. I never robbed women. I never robbed working people. I always robbed like drug dealers and people that do right shit like that. So I went in this career, bro. I swear to God, I had nigga motherfucking McDonald's, LeBron jersey. I don't even think that nigga was one. I don't even think that nigga was born yet. I had his jersey in my life. I had nigga. Kobe jerseys, McDonald jerseys. I was talking about, nigga, I had Louis Vuitton. Watch you, GD baby. You know, my cousin will tell you, I had, nigga, over, I had over $16,000 worth of merchandise at like 15 years old. Got caught and had to give a lot of it away. My mama was scared. I had to give a lot away. I had Louis Vuitton watches before niggas was rocking Louis. Like, I had shit. I was talking about Gucci, Louis. Nigga, I had game, I had everything, man. Like, I don't, I ain't even know that man was, do like, man. So he found out, but he found out it was you and shit. Yeah, man, he found out it was me. He found out it was me. Like, My dumb ass homie Tero, yo stupid ass, bro. Got caught wearing a Von Dutch shirt walking up the street. Oh, it was, oh, he got caught wearing his shirt. He got caught wearing his shirt. So what, he bad off you or you just? He had a lot of shit. We split it the oh, shit. God. We went together. Yeah. I can only speak about this because Statue of Limitations. Oh, right, right, right. But you said you got caught, though. Uh, you said what? You said you got caught. No, I ain't never get caught. Oh. I ain't never get caught. He just found out it was you. I always kept my mouth closed. My mama was always riding with me. So if I say I ain't do it, that's what it was. You feel me? So at the time, I didn't do it. So. <laughs> but I did it. You know, I can admit it. I admit it. I can't be shit. All right, so man, what like what's some next big like plans? Some next big things you got coming up? Like man, bro, I swear to God, bro, I just want to keep making music, bro. I just want to have, I just want to make money, bro. I want to take care of motherfuckers, bro. You got one, leave, you got one life, bro. You ain't got one life, man. And I feel like I put too much in my music and in my life period, man. All of, man, I've been rapping for years, bro, and all of the last like. Bro, I done, man, I done sold, me and my girl done sold links so I can have a video shoot. Me and my girl done, like, bro, we done did everything, bro. We done sold shit. To, I done did everything to, for, to shoot videos, bro. I done really robbed niggas for studio time, bro. I done broken houses selling TVs and shit for an outfit to go for my video. You know what I'm saying? I done, bro, I done did it all, bro. I done did, I done did the whole struggle, bro. And like, it ain't even funny, bro. I done seen, I done lost a lot of shit, bro. I done lost a lot of niggas. I done seen a lot of money. All that shit, you feel me? I just feel like, man, I, I, I put too much money and shit into my music to stop. So, like, you you heard the homie Takashi, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude, he 
You know what I'm saying? Rapping on his friends, all that stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He finna get back out of jail. What they say he getting out like next year, I think. No, nah, they, yeah. No, nah, his dumb ass. They was saying like two months, but they supposed to be like two years or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Let's say he was to get out of jail and hit up Debo and say, man, I, I'm trying to get my, my street credibility back. I want to do a record with Debo. You know what I'm saying? And we going to put it out. We're going to go platinum. Like, is that something that you would do? Like, would you would you fuck with rats in the game just to, you know what I'm saying, make your music pop? Man, they, it's like, that's like they trying to, they, 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 it's like a, that's like a setup, really. Like, you try, you want me to sell my soul and do a song with a snitch and shit that's like known, they got to understand that. Everybody, like, real niggas ducking, though. Like, real niggas ain't going to do no song with no six nine. you feel me? A lot of, you know what I'm saying, I, I know if I do a song with a motherfucker, that probably changed my life, but I, motherfuckers always look at me, that's that nigga that did the song with 6 9 to get on. Just did the song with the snitch to get on. So you feel me? So you wouldn't do that shit, even if, like, you know it's going to go platinum because you know it's a whole bunch of uh, little kids and little people, they going to listen to it. They, they going to be like, man, who this dude, Debo? You, you couldn't. I had to whoop him during the video shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I had to snake him during the video shoot, let him know, like, nigga, like, I'm, I don't fuck with you. This, this, this the move though. We can, we finna do this. We finna do this. Nah, I don't know. I, don't, I might not do that. I read, I read it just, I read just not associate myself with no six nine. Nah, that's good. I mean, that's character though. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people. I just rather not associate myself with six nine. All right, so you heard about Juice World, man? R. P. Juice World. Um, that whole situation with uh the pilot called the police and they pulled up, like. A lot of people were saying, like, why didn't his homies, like, grab the perks off him? Like, I get it. Like, why? Him being an artist, like, why was he the type of artist that, like, he tried to put it on his own? Like, what? Like, how you feel about that situation? Bro? Shit, man. Shit, that nigga Richard Seal, man. That, when he, he, like, the highest paid motherfucking artist in Chicago. What they were saying, like, he was the highest paid artist in Chicago. Like... Why you shit? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have no planes. Me personally, I wouldn't have no seventeen pounds on the plane. Personally, like shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm the highest paid artist in Chicago. I made it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, but shit, that that was that's niggas probably was panicking, scared because that's that ain't just no regular. And the police just pulled us over and we got some perks and shit. Motherfucker, we on the plane with seventeen pounds. Who for who you is? You on a plane with 17 pounds, nigga. This pilot. It was, it was 72. Oh, 70, 70? Yeah, I'm tweaking. 70 pounds, some guns. Yeah, 70 pounds, some guns. Look, you on a plane, bro. That's real big. That's major, bro. You feel me? That ain't regular. Yeah. Cardiac arrest, all that shit. Then motherfucking real arrest. Police arrest. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people is just saying, like, you know his homies really should have stepped. Yeah, up. that was bogey. Yeah, they they was they 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 like that's that's this 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 the prize right here. You feel me? Juice World the prize. Like shit. Why? why you know what I'm saying? And this, this this nigga super talented. This nigga ain't just no regular artist. You know what I'm saying? Like me and like like the regular average artist coming from Chicago. That nigga was raw. That nigga was cold. That nigga was raw ass freestyle. That nigga made cold ass songs. It was therapeutic. Motherfucking. Some of that shit was crazy. Like. Moody, but that nigga had a lot of listeners, bro. So you can't really knock that nigga, bro. I respect Juice, though. Yeah, Chicago do make the best music. R.I.P. Juice, man. I just thought that was crazy. What about the pilot, man? You seen that shit? Oh, the Boosie pilot a bitch. I feel like Boosie, man. That pilot is a bitch. He bogus, man. He's a fucking snitch. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You, what you, what, 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 he act like they finna give him a reward. Like they finna give him a big raise or something. You feel me? 